What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to Quick Bench Entertainment. I am your host, Hollywood Hogan. Happy Memorial Day. Hope you guys had a great Memorial Weekend, a three-day weekend for that. And today, we are doing a reaction to the last man standing top 10 for WWE. Obviously, we're getting Shinsuke Nakamura versus AJ Styles in the last man standing match of Money in the Bank, which, by the way, that card is ending up becoming super, super stacked. That just doesn't have this universal champion. But, um, you know, at least we got Seth Rollins, the real face of Monday Night Raw. But then we got AJ versus Shinsuke, which I feel like that rivalry hasn't lived up to the hype. I think they ruined it by calling it this dream match. Dream matches are matches that have never happened. We've already seen these guys go at it at New Japan Pro Wrestling, and it hasn't really added up here. Whenever I feel like they're getting momentum, WWE Creative has to throw in those, those classic Vince McMahon, Road Dog swerves, and then it just ruins the momentum. But last man standing match between these two guys, I think that's interesting. Because usually when WWE does last man standing matches... It's like when they have the big, like John Cena, Batista, The Undertaker, big old juiced up dudes, not AJ and Shinsuke. I mean, they're great wrestlers, amazing wrestlers. They're not powerhouses like the guys they usually put in last man standing matches. But let's just jump right into this top 10 last man standing matches knockouts. Let's go. Three, two, one, two, sweet. Number 10. Cena versus Bray. Damn, son. Bray should have won that match. Bray should have won the WrestleMania match. This was the night Bray got buried. Jesus, Michael. <laughs> Look at good old Teddy Long. Great placement, though. Play a player. God, look at Keith. I'm not kidding. JR just selling the hell out of that. Oh, God. What is right back doing nowadays, by the way? Is he still talking shit about CM Punk on every podcast he goes on? Yeah, this is a good one. The superior brand, by the way, NXT. Damn, son. Bullshit. By the way, CM Punk's next fight's in a couple weeks, June 9th. Look at these freaking beasts. Damn. Hey, it's when they, used, they when they were using pyro still, when they weren't being cheap as hell. And also when Taker could actually wrestle on a daily basis. Really, Braun? Oh yeah, I mean, freaking monster, dude. I love Braun. I mean, this dude has to be champion eventually, right? Kevin Owens saying that Ambrose brought this upon himself. Jesus. I love this rivalry, man. Owens Ambrose is sweet. Damn. I feel like Kale gets so disrespected, man. <laughs> Out of nowhere. Damn, son. Pyro! I mean, after they signed that deal with Fox and it's official, do you think they'll bring Pyro back? I mean, they just made... Oh, God, I totally forgot about this. Look at that. Woo! I can love Shane O'Mac. Look at Test. R.I.P. That was dope. Um, look. 
we, now that they have that major deal, are they going to play the music? Okay, now they're not. I was about to say, okay. Now that they sound like that major, like a billion dollar deal with Fox, you think now they'll bring the power back? Because now they have the money, my boy. But anyways, Shinsuke versus AJ, last man standing match. The reason I'm excited for that is because, they, like I said, these guys aren't really powerhouses. They're actually going to have to out, like wrestle each other to knock each other out. So that's going to be cool. I hope that has like no gimmick. The low blow stuff is old already. We've seen it too many times. It's over. We just have these guys just wrestle and do these insane moves and moments like they did that New Japan and their match, that classic freaking match let them do that in the last man standing match don't put the whole like low blow thing i get it it was cool it turned shinsuke heel i enjoy shinsuke heel i love his new entrance music it is dope i get it but these two need to sneak to our wrestle each other and just go out there and have a hell of a wrestling match with no gimmicks just last man standing and let them have the match they had in new japan pro wrestling just big time moves my problem with it being that money in the bank is just how much time they have but I forgot, WWE has extended their pay-per-views. Now they're four hours long, so there is definitely enough time to flesh out that last man standing match. And I honestly, I wouldn't mind it being the Money in the Bank match. And the more I think about it, last man standing, wouldn't it make sense for somebody to cash in that night? Would make sense to me. But anyways, guys, if you like this video, start the thumb, subscribe, join the QuickBay Quick Daily uploads Monday through Sunday, seven days a week. So we do upload every single day. Tomorrow we're doing our Monday night raw reaction. So if you want to see our Monday night raw reaction that we do every single Tuesday, subscribe and join the Quick Bay Quick. Also, August twenty fifth, your boy is going to be filming his first wrestling event in Westminster GCF as good as gold. If you want to check that out, all my marks in California, come out, have a good time in Westminster, and check out the debut show for GCF. I mean, the logo should be right here. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys tomorrow too. So, we.